recently already. Um, Anna Nicole Smith walking into the Supreme Court looked far more credible than Anna, Anna Nicole Smith any other time I suspect in her entire life. That is, she was specifically trying to say, I can wear a suit and I can be believable. And so one of the things that you have to convey to people is, I'm trustworthy, I know my stuff, maybe even I'm elite in some way, that is, I'm someone you should admire, I'm someone that you should follow, I'm someone that you should believe, I'm someone that you should trust. And so if you do all three of these things, Plato argues, you have the, the totality of an argument. People are going to kind of connect with you, and they're going to follow your argument, and they're going to believe you, and you're going to persuade them. And so you need to do all three of those things in a speech. You need to do those three things in a web design as well. So let's come back to Tiffany. Why does Tiffany put things down the center of the page? It has nothing to do with organization. I mean, it is easy to read stuff bang, bang, bang down the center of the page. It is because, traditionally, we see that as being conventional. Anything we see as being conventional, we tend to trust. So why was the New York Times so slow to put color on their page? Because they were worried and so slow to lose the logo type that was the neat squirrely, squirrely letters and go to something that's more like the Wall Street Journal or a simplified version of the headline. Because we believe in the conventional. We think that you know convention, conservative convention, allows us to trust that. And so in a visual design, Tiffany doesn't want to say we're cutting edge. They want to say we're conventional. Now on the other hand, if they say they're too conventional, nobody will want their stuff. So while the logos floats in here and you can do it dead on, and you can follow Krug and you can make a design where anyone can come to your page and when we come back from the break, um, we'll talk about how that works with, with search engines particularly. But they can do all of that and still not have you because there's still that play between the pathos and the ethos. And unfortunately, those two things in visual design particularly, also in speech, that is, someone who is considered to be trustworthy may not speak in the same way that gets your blood boiling. There are some really good examples of people who did manage to do that. I mentioned before, Martin Luther King made, managed to do that. That is, managed to get you involved emotionally in a speech and also to trust him implicitly. And so there are ways to do that in a speech. It's much harder to do in a visual design. It can be done. But this is a tension that exists kind of outside of the logos. So don't make me think covers part of it. But the design part, it might not get at. Um, let's take a 10-minute break. We'll come back and... Thank you.